What's going on everyone, DJ Taxman here, back with another chess video, welcome back to the channel. Uh, unfortunately it didn't save the live play of this, so just really quickly I'm going to go through and just show you uh, how it played out, just so you know in the series what happened, uh, and we didn't skip a game or anything. Um, we did end up winning, uh, but we were on that 1294 from last episode, and we played this game, we got them to resign, and we moved up to 1323. I'm just giving you a quick recap of the game and hopefully that'll catch up for the next episode and it won't look like we've skipped a game uh, because the video didn't save of the live commentary. Uh, but so pretty much I was white, we versed D-Rock from the United States and I started out I like to control these middle squares so I normally start off with my king's pawn and then eventually get my other pawn into that if I choose to not bring out my horses or anything but in this game he matched it and then I went on to the attack with my horse to try and take it. Uh, he obviously defend. Uh, actually, he didn't defend his pawn, which a lot of people do. He went to attack mine, which I was fine trading with that because it puts me in a better position than it puts him. So I went ahead and took it. I'll just turn my speaker off there. Oh, whoops, sorry. Let me just really fix that up. Uh, and anyway... Uh, so yeah, he went to attack mine, I took his, and he then attacks my horse for some reason. He didn't want to just straight swap, which is alright for him, but it just means we go plus one. I retreat my horse, obviously, I want to try and keep it safe. And he just brings his other horse out, which I can then pin, pin with my bishop to his king. And he obviously just protects the horse. I take that, so take his horse away, I'm fine with that, and it's, I'm just getting his... Uh, pieces out of position right now and then I was allowed to castle and he's not set up to castle yet he'll have to move this up if he wants to castle but that just moves it into like a nothing position so it's a bit of a wasted move uh, he then chooses to attack my pawn now that it's protected as well with this bishop which is fine uh, but then I pin his horse in check so he can't move this because then he'll be in check so he has to keep his horse there um, which means it's not very safe so what i would have done is uh actually i'm not sure what i would have done for him i guess i would have moved my queen up there to try and protect it but anyway he's gone to protect it with a pawn not moving it which is fine by us because now i can just take it with a pawn so that's positive trade um and then yeah he goes to finally block his king and i just end up taking it and then he'll take it with the pawn, and I'll keep my horse safe, but also put pressure there. And then he finally castles. So I go ahead and take that, just because he'll have to take with that, and that's just another reason where it just puts his uh, pieces out of position, and it also leaves nothing protecting this pawn anymore. <coughs> so he takes that, I go ahead and take his free pawn. He moves his bishop. Uh, I'm not sure why he moved it, or why yeah i'm not sure why he wanted to move it i can't explain his thinking i can only explain mine um but i'm starting to bring my bishop out into play and get my horse out and i want to free up my queen to try and put him in check he obviously didn't do that um but i was allowed to put it there anyway and he can't take my castle because he'll be in check um so now obviously he wants to be able to take my castle so he moves his king and i just keep my castle safe he then advances his queen forward, I move my horse, I want to try and bring my pieces out into play. And he's obviously trying to set up a kind of little attack here. Um, especially now that he puts his bishop there. But the better attack is to somehow get these switched so that the queen is the one that pins him, because that's a lot better check than just a bishop. Uh, and anyway, I put pressure on that bishop now with my horse. As you can see, this, this is a pretty big um, move that he chose to do, which is a big swing turn. So I was putting pressure on that bishop and he decided to take that pressure away by taking my horse with his castle, which is not a good move for him. Uh, so I was able just to capitalize on that by taking his castle with my bishop. He then puts me in check, like I said before, but because it's just a bishop, it was a pretty easy fix. I just moved it to the side. I could have moved up or down, but I just wanted to stay, have a bit more protection and be close to my castle. He then wants to try and get into some more moves. So he's putting his queen into more attacking positions. That's fine. I'm going to put um, pressure on him by moving my queen up. 
and he goes for that check, which is fine by me. I can move my castle across and puts pressure on him to move his queen if he doesn't want to, or he has to put me in check there. Uh, but I can guard that with my pawn. So he now retreats his queen because he was under attack. And I go ahead to try and get this castle into play because when it's stuck in the corner, it can't really do anything. He moves in to try and attack and put more pressure on my bishop. I just double up and defend it because now I've got my king defending it. I have my castle defending it and my pawn defending it. So he can't outtake my pieces, but he decides to take it anyway. That's fine. I'll just take it. And I'm now I'm looking to swap because I'm positive four. And whenever you get up in pieces on other people, uh, on your opponent, you want to try and just swap pieces because you'll end up with more at the end. And so now he's put me in check, which is fine. I'll just keep my king safe by hidden behind this castle. He then decides to take that castle. That's fine. I can take with my castle. He'll put me in check again. I block with my castle. He then uh, moves his queen and starts taking my pieces, but he's left his king trapped in this corner, which is not good for him. And then I capitalize on that. I check. And then that's at the point where he resigns. So that put us up... Uh, Plus 29 points, so we're on 13.23 now. And yeah, we ended with a win, so it was good. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little recap. I can do more of these if you want them, or if you prefer the live commentary, that's normally what I do. I'm going to keep doing that unless other people want to see the kind of thinking behind each move. I can break it down a little bit more. Um, but besides that, thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment. Uh, if you want to play with me, just let me know. Chess.com, easy. And uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thanks, everyone.